Good morning, ladies and Let me use this occasion to commend the Prime Minister, President, government efforts in these hours to restore confidence in the financial sector, as we have seen through a bold and courageous decision to nationalize private bank. This step should help ensure that all banks in Ukraine are held to the same prudential regulatory standards, making the banking sector stronger and more resilient is also a vital component of larger reforms efforts that the European Union, together with international partners, supports strongly. Uh, I was looking, we were looking together at the numbers, we are around 40, 44%. Our support for Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity is unwavering and we will uh, continue to not recognize the illegal annexation of Crimea and Sebastopol by Russian Federation. We have also discussed today on increased EU support for the diplomatic work to find a lasting peaceful solution to the conflict in eastern Ukraine through the complete implementation of the Minsk agreements. For example, the recent launch of electronic asset declarations and the establishment. The Council and the European Parliament have agreed on the revised suspension mechanism. This paves the way for final procedural steps which will enable visa liberalization for Ukraine soon. I already touched upon reforms and let me stress that the implementation report on the association agenda we published last week gives an outline of the intense and unprecedented reforms Ukraine has been carried out across its economic and democratic system. Ukraine has taken an important step to address vital systemic challenges like corruption. We see the determination of the government and of the authorities in this respect. For example, the recent launch of electronic asset declarations and the establishment of new anti-corruption bodies are very important measures recognized uh, also during our meeting today. Agreements which we signed in 2015 have been applied provisionally. Our message today, as it has been constantly in these three years, is count on the European Union to be there at your side to accompany this process of transformation for making Ukraine uh, a better country and uh, providing a better life for all Ukrainians. But I know he had to stay in Kiev today. Let me use this occasion. Earlier this morning, we also signed a financial agreement for the public administration reform program with 104 million euros contribution to support policy development, civil service and human resources management. We looked uh, at a new program of 52.5 million euros to support rule of law in Ukraine, namely judiciary and law enforcement. And we signed financial agreements for four cross-border cooperation programs in which Ukraine participates. And this afternoon, Ukraine and the European Investment Bank will sign agreements for up to 600 million euros that will allow the European Investment Bank to reach its 3 billion euros commitment under the EU support package for Ukraine. I want to say that reforms are needed in Ukraine. Changes are needed in Ukraine. And this allows us to collect the second wide cost for the realization of the tasks that we have on today's meeting. Thank you. Of larger reforms efforts that the European Union together... I hope that the priorities оцінок, які зроблені на сьогоднішньому засіданні, це реальне продовження дорожньої карти між Україною і Європейським Союзом.